Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I thought of making such videos to give a perspective to the students who are preparing and who are like who are wishing to join research and who are planning to start their career in research. So they should have a perspective. They should have an idea that which field of the subject is uh, like flourishing well. Actually, it should not be the correct way to say because every field, every topic has its own importance in science and all of them have their own contributions. But depending upon the situations, depending upon the conditions around and depending upon how we are getting or how we are uh, like uh, evolving uh, as a human being, as a society. So there are need of certain field of science and that need makes, uh, that increases the demand and that makes a certain field of chemistry or certain field of science flourish more. So just to give you an example, few years back, uh, nanochemistry, nanotechnology, nanophysics, these were the field which were in like, people were going crazy about it. They were like, because that was the time when people were going into the nano level of semiconducting devices and they were like going into the nano level of um, like they were going into nanobots and all those things like there is a lot of uh, science involved in the nano field or in the nanotechnology field. So that was the time for the nano technology and the nano field still like I would say that it has uh, its own scope. But now into the current scenario and not now actually from the past five years I would say that bio related science or bio related chemistry is uh, doing good or it's it's the trending topic I would say okay that that reason is because if you see the recent pandemic that was the time when people were going crazy about it they wanted to get a vaccine they wanted to get an idea they wanted to you know get to know that how to resolve that issue and that made uh, that gave a rise to a very new field of chemistry that was already there but it just give gave that importance to that field that was uh, computer aided drug design or i would say computational biochemistry so computational biochemistry earlier was it was there people were using it as a additional tool to uh, to justify their results to you know verify their findings from the wet lab they just do these computational studies to verify it but after this pandemic during this pandemic actually people like there were more reliable softwares developed and there were more reliable data that was published and people gave that importance to uh, computer or uh, computational biochemistry or computer data design to be precise a certain topic so this this particular scenario or this particular situation made this topic or this uh, idea flourish more and become a trending topic but all in all bio related stuffs or bio related science is doing good in the recent times if you just look upon the nobel prizes although that should not be a criteria to look upon which topic is trending or which topic has more uh, importance into it but if you just look upon previous few years of uh, uh, nobel prizes in chemistry you will find that even in chemistry they give nobel prizes to bio related stuffs like it can be CRISPR, that means uh, like for, I think in 2020 they gave this Nobel Prize for CRISPR that was basically uh, like gene editing. Then a genome repairing was uh, for Nobel Prize for DNA repairing was given in the year I think in 2017 or 16. I don't remember exactly but yeah, if you look upon the previous few years you will find out that medicinal chemistry and this bio related chemistry was given Nobel Prizes. Although they belong to the life sciences category, they belong to uh, like life sciences category and all. But because of the reason how we are using the biological systems for doing chemistry stuffs, uh, that's where uh, this comes in. Also, there was an article published in the Nature Journal. I can give you the link in the description where it was said that how India can become a pharma hub in the coming years. And the reason is because in India earlier, like we were not having that sophisticated instrumentation. We were not having that sophisticated uh, like institutes dedicated to these uh, like bio related work. But now we are developing them. We have great institutes like NCBS is there. We have CCMB, there are different CSR labs. We have CDRI, so all these CSR labs, all these institutes which are totally dedicated to 
bio related chemical stuffs and these are doing good and these are producing great results so that gives us an idea that in the coming years or in coming time uh, there will be more demand of bio related chemistry or bio related physics bio related topics i myself am in like i am advocating for it because i myself has have done my phd in biophysics and now in my postdoctoral studies i am learning biochemistry and biophysics both so and i can see over here that how advanced bio related chemistry is and how important it is how much application it has and how enthusiastically people are working in this particular field okay so it's not only related to biochemistry and biophysics there are various like this field has a lot of parts into it you can go into bio organic chemistry you can go into bio inorganic chemistry you can go into biochemistry you can go into biophysics you can go into bio computational chemistry now these are all major parts among these parts you can again sub categorize them okay under bio organic chemistry you have synthesis of natural products through bio systems bio catalysis is there bio organic catalysis then in inorganic system again you have bio inorganic catalysis you have uh, like the production of inorganic molecules as a carrier from the biological systems then when you go in biochemistry of course it is whole lot of things over there you can have different topics under that in biophysics you can learn about spectroscopy of biological systems you can study how biological system works their uh, like rate their kinetics their uh, you know structures then you have a different field that it comes under structure biology that comes under molecular biology so these are interesting field where you use spectroscopy and advanced tools like uh, cryo em you use nmr spectroscopy you use uh, if you if you are able to get the crystals you use xrd to find out the structure of biological molecules and these are fascinating fields then when we come up to bio uh computational chemistry as i said computer aided drug design is there then uh like visualizing what's happening or predicting what's happening in a biological system through computer softwares that's again one of the field which comes in bio information is also one of the topic like bio information technology that also is one of the topic where people study about biological system through computer softwares so i am just able to tell you few of them but they are these are huge okay and now if you will see even like if you if you talk to some research scholar or if you talk to your seniors who are doing research let's say in organic chemistry you will if you will discuss with them about their research papers if you discuss with them about their research projects they will also tell you that after doing a organic uh, or after synthesizing organic compound they try to look upon their biological applications and for that they have to collaborate with a lab which works in the biological related stuffs so now again a bio like biochemist or biophysicist or a life sciences person is going to be in that play and uh, that is going to be a part of that project and so that's what it is so bigger journals like jax and you can all these bigger journals uh, nature sciences they are not accepting just a synthetic paper just if you synthesize a mo uh, organic molecule and you try to uh, like you know publish them they also want more information from it they also want to see that if you have synthesized a molecule whether it has biological application or not if it has how active it is whether it has anti cancer properties whether it has any uh, fluorescent property anything anything which is biologically active or which is biologically related that gives more importance to that paper so that's how this this whole idea comes in and that's why i'm making this video because i just wanted to share with you because if you are planning to do research further and if you are planning to you know Uh, become a research scholar and planning to join research as your or take research as your career it's a time where you can think of uh, including bio related stuffs or bio related topics as one of your topic to do research even let's say if you are not interested in bio related topic but at least i would recommend you to learn some basics of it that would be really helpful and that can enhance your cv for further you know for further whenever wherever you want to go for further studies and uh, if you don't if you are clueless about choosing a topic if you are like you don't have any clue that what what i should choose as my topic of research then this is the time or this is one of the field where you can look upon you can look upon a topic which is slightly related to biological activity or which is which has some biological application 
and this can also give you an idea of writing a good research proposal so let's say if you are going uh, or planning to do or jo join as a research scholar somewhere and the institute wants you to present a research proposal in that case you can use these points or you can use the biological application of your idea and imply over there that will just enhance your research proposal that will just give a you know a plus mark to your research proposal and there are high chances that it can get selected so the idea of making this video the idea of recording all these things was just to you know discuss with you all do let me know what you guys think about it but as far as what i am able to uh, like see around me as far as what i am able to understand uh, this is the time where i can see that bio related stuffs or bio related chemistry bio related physics bio related computational chemistry all these are booming up and they are now uh, one of the field where you can think of as a research scholar in these field uh, do let me know if you have any idea and do let me know if you want to me to make more certain videos on other topics on the scope and uh, you know things related to them so i will try to gather information at, and present in front of you so that's all from my side for this particular video i hope that you liked it and if you have any other comments if you want to like give any feedback you are most welcome in the comment section and i will see you in the next one have a great day bye bye take care please subscribe the channel and do give it a like share with your friends see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care